The new year is the most perfect time to get back on your health and fitness lifestyle. Whether you are beginning your journey or you are just continuing your journey, I wanted to do a video today about a few things that you should know about getting fit. If you are new around here, I preach on my channel that I believe that we should live a balanced, healthy lifestyle, both physically and mentally. I need to pause and show you the cutest thing in the entire world. I don't think you're ready for this. Look at Navy, okay? And then look at little Indy. Oh my goodness, oh, just a bunch of chicken nuggets back there. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again. Without further ado, let's get into the video. That was weird. <laughs> All right. The first thing that you need to know about getting fit is that it is never too late to start. I think my dad is a perfect example of this. Although he was active his entire life, he did not even start his actual like weight loss, fitness, healthy lifestyle journey until a lot later in his life, you know, after he had a couple kitarooskis. I think it's so important to have something that is yours and you focus on yourself every single day. Even if you have kids or you have some dogs, it's important to take a little bit of time out of every single day and really focus on yourself, bettering yourself. So never forget that it is never too late to start. All right, the next thing that you need to know is to start small and to start slow. I see a lot of people in the beginning of the year, they just throw their everything, everything that they have into living a healthy lifestyle and usually they throw themselves onto a diet. Now, you guys know how I feel about diets, okay? Unless you are a very strong, willed, disciplined, perfect person, diets can be very difficult to stick to. So remember, this is a lifestyle. We wanna start creating healthy habits and healthy habits take time to form. Pick one thing, decide one thing you're going to start, either that's gonna break a habit or you're going to begin a habit. The first thing I decided to do when I started weight training and I was, I was like set on living a healthy lifestyle is I gave up Coca-Cola, not even diet, just regular Coca-Cola. I slowly but surely gave up soda and now I don't even drink it. So start slow and start small. Gradually make these changes day by day. This one is one I've always struggled with because I am the least patient person in the entire world. But it's important to remember to remain patient. I remember so vividly I would go to the gym for a week, I was weight training, I was eating healthy, and then I look in the mirror and I look the exact same. And I, being a very impatient person, became very discouraged very quickly. And I want you to remember, and like write it down, do whatever it takes to remember this, to be patient. Changes take time and those changes will come if you are consistent. You just have to be patient. One thing that really helps me notice these changes a lot more than what a scale would do. In fact, I hardly ever weigh myself anymore. You guys know that. I used to get on a scale like very often and I would never see the numbers change and that was very frustrating. So what I started doing is taking progress photos and now that I like see the difference from last January to this January, it's in same. So if you're getting discouraged because you're not seeing changes as, as speedily as you would like, remember it does take time, but also I want you to ditch the scale and start taking progress photos or videos. Sometimes I watch my old videos and I'm like, wow, I get discouraged often because I think I'm not growing my shoulder boulders. And then one time I watched like the very first video, my shoulder boulders have improved. This is a good one because I wish that I would have known this before I started working out and that is to be kinder to yourself and to believe in yourself. So for instance, when I first tried to start working out, not when I actually committed, but when I would go through those cycles where I'd like go to the gym for a week and then quit, you know, I had no faith in myself. All I could last on a Stairmaster was about three minutes. I could maybe run for about four minutes and then I would crawl to the side and feel like that was my last breath on this earth. This is new. Whatever you are starting, it's new and it's going to take time to learn. Don't beat yourself up 
if you can only last four minutes on a treadmill or three minutes on a Stairmaster like I could and then I'd beat myself up and then I'd never go back to the gym because I was disappointed in myself and I was mean to myself and that is not good for our mental health. And lastly, something is so dang important. I've told you guys this a million times, but if you are new around here, I am very, very, very big on the fact that you need to find something that you love. If you are going to the gym every day and you are in that gym and you are miserable because you're doing something you hate, you will never stick to it. That is what I used to do, where I'd go through these never-ending cycles of I'd go to the gym and I thought the only way to get fit was to do cardio. So I'd get on a treadmill, I'd run for five minutes, I did it for a week, and then you wouldn't see me back in that gym for 30 days. And that was back in college when I was like a very, very poor college student and I was wasting my money on a gym membership. <sighs> and then I was introduced to weight training and I have never gone back ever since. Something to also note is that what works best for somebody else may not work best for you and it's important to not get discouraged. So don't get discouraged. Be patient, it's a learning process, it's a learning curve, it's gonna take time to figure out what works best for you. But what is so important is to remember you have to find something that you love. All right guys, that is going to conclude this video. That is five tips that you need to know about getting fit. Write them down, don't forget them. I think they're so important and I wish somebody would have told me this before I started what I thought was gonna be my fitness journey but I quit that like 18 times then. Finally, it worked out. Here we are. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, truly. I really do. Navy, do you wanna say bye? Goodbye.